Welcome up! This is a long overdue video. What is an autocracy? Coming up! Hello, I'm Understanding Politics and in this channel I talk about political theories and debates to students as well as curious and passionate people, just like you. So, the word autocracy comes from the ancient Greek, and it's composed of two expressions, autos, meaning self, and kratos, meaning power. This means that the autocracy is the form of state where power is concentrated in the hands of one individual, the autocrat. The concept of autocracy is one of the fundamental ideas of political theory, because among the methods of power repartition is the polar opposite of democracy. If you watched the previous videos on liberal democracy, by now you will know that democracies do not necessarily divide power. Particularly in ancient Greece, the separation of power was relatively weak, and history shows that it is really easy to turn a democracy, the government of the many, into an oligarchy, the government of the few, or eventually in an autocracy. Still, autocracy is a macro category, and a series of other terms either overlaps or distinguishes, so let us tackle synonyms first. Authoritarian state and dictatorship can be both considered as expressions carrying the same meaning of autocracy. The expression authoritarian stresses the attention over the fact that the central authority of the state contributes to a concentration of power. Still, an authoritarian state does not necessarily need an autocrat, a unique leader. On the contrary, a dictatorship expects to have a dictator, a strong charismatic leader embodying all powers of the state. The major difference between autocracy and dictatorship is in the origin of the term. The expression dictatorship comes from Latin and indicates a form of government of the Roman Republic where a person could embody all power of the state for up to six months in case of emergency, usually to preserve the integrity of the Republic. On the other hand, autocracies were not always conceived with similar limitations in mind. A special form of autocracy is totalitarianism. Invented in the 20th century with fascism, totalitarianisms enlist some of the most popular figures that we normally associate with the idea of autocrat or dictator, from Benito Mussolini and Adolf Hitler to Josef Stalin. Explained extensively by some of the most brilliant philosophers of that century, from Anna Arendt to Antonio Gramsci, totalitarianism is a form of autocracy in which a party becomes the state in its every dimension. Of course, leaders are ubiquitous, but totalitarianisms have often shown their ability to survive the death of the autocrat. As discussed in the video on different electoral systems, autocracies can and often have elections. In this case, we talk about electoral autocracies. A good example was the Republic of Moldova under Vladimir Voronin between 2001 and 2009. Finally, we have misleading terms. The concepts of monarchy and republic are fundamentally neuters. A monarchy can be absolute, and in that case it takes the form of an autocracy, but also constitutional and democratic. Similarly, Italy and Kazakhstan are both formally republics, but the former is a liberal democracy and the latter is an authoritarian state. This brings us to the last point, which is autocracies do not present themselves as such. Most autocracies are electoral, and given that the reputation of dictatorships is pretty bad, the authoritarian leaders will often try to present him or herself as a benevolent, charismatic and decisive figure, never as dictatorial. He or she, but yeah, almost always he, will be often formally a president or a prime minister, but in practice the center of power of the state. Despite the hypocrisy, it is relatively easy to spot autocratic behaviors which often manifest in the repression of civil and political liberties. The lecture is over. As usual, you can check the sources in the references section of this video description. Thank you for watching. Autocracies have been dominant for most of the 20th century, but with the turn of the millennium, we had more democracies than autocracies, even though all crises we have lived so far in the 21st century have certainly endangered this positive development.